Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, last winter we had some issues with uh, a homemade wood stove that I had, and uh, it wasn't drafting properly, and a lot of people said it was the chimney, and uh, so I had I had planned on trying to modify it and uh, fix it up and and try to make it work right. And, uh, but what I ended up doing is I found somebody that wanted to buy it and, uh, sold it and made a profit on it. So, uh, I ended up putting this in, I made a barrel stove out of two, uh, barrels that had acetone in them. And, uh, I gotta be honest with you. That's probably the best decision I've ever made as far as heating this barn in the wintertime. I've had, uh, 15 degree temperatures outside and this thing just kills it in here brings it right up to 70 80 degrees in no time uh this is, this is a 32 by 50 barn and the, i gotta say this is amazing it, it burns clean it burns hot and uh i couldn't be happier with it um you're gonna see some things on here i'm gonna show you a video from one exactly one month ago when i installed it and uh you're gonna see that there's no cement board in it but I want to at least play that video for you from the first day of install, and then uh, I'll see you when it's over. First light indoors. You can see it's going. And uh, there's no smoke coming out of the door. kind of smoldering in there really right now but it'll get going but yeah there's no smoke coming out of the door checking the pipe and uh, I don't see anything coming out there I'm gonna go outside and see what it looks like coming out of the chimney little bit so far I think it's working good no smoke coming out up there. If I can get in there. It's going. No smoke coming out of the door. I suppose if it did, I could always shut this down and it will draw from the door more. But uh, even with that open, I didn't have any coming out. I'm really impressed by this. It seems to burn clean. It doesn't leak anywhere. I did have some gaps here. I had to put some foil down inside of there because the gap was a little big. Put a little on this side too. But uh, yeah. With that other wood stove I had, that old homemade one, that thing leaked from every joint on here. And uh, this isn't leaking at all. It's amazing. Starting to pick up now. That's working really good. Back outside. This might be the best wood stove I've ever had.
All right, we're about 20 minutes into it after being lit. Right about there is where you want to keep the door uh, for smoke not to come out, which is awesome. That's a good, good thing because even my uh, sto store-bought wood stove won't do that. So that's coming up. The uh, top barrel, you can just do that. You wouldn't want to hold your hand on it because it would burn you. So let's go outside and look. That's not much at all. That looks really good. Another uh, five minutes or so, I bet you that would clear right up. All you would get is uh, heat coming out. See, that was 150. Oh, well, it looks like the paint's burning off that I put on. I hadn't ran it yet, so I'm gonna have to open these doors and let that burn off. That's that 2000 degree paint that I put on. Let me go open the doors. Well, that's why uh, we're doing it now. Got all the doors open. Doing it now instead of uh, when it's actually cold and I wanna use it. Cause that took about 25 minutes or so. You can see it's still burning off a little bit and it'll still leave the graphite film on there. So it's not a big deal, but uh, I definitely wanna get these fumes burned off before uh, I fi fire it up when I need it. I threw a couple more pieces of pine in there, those four by fours, cause I know they'll burn good and hot and uh, that'll help cure the paint better. Now you can see it's really, really coming off of there now. That's good though. That's what I want. I want to cure this thing and have it ready to go. We're at about uh, 35, 40 minutes now since I lit it. It appears to have uh, gassed off all the way now, so the, the paint's cured. Our uh, thermometer is good. It's in the burn zone. Um, but I'm going to tell you, this thing puts off more heat than I've ever experienced from a wood stove before. I mean, here, I'm about 10 feet away from it, and my face is hot. That's a lot of uh, heat. And I come back here, this is about 19 inches off the wall. That wall is hot. Yeah, it's it's hot. So I'm definitely gonna have to put up some something there. I don't know if I'm gonna do a cement board or what, and then leave a gap behind it. Um, Cause that could become a problem. Yeah, that's that's, you don't wanna hold your hand on it much longer than that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down, open up the intake there, and uh, we'll see, it sounds like it's cooling down a little bit. We'll shut the doors up and uh, come back and okay, look at all it. All the doors are shut, it's 57 degrees in here, and uh, let's see how fast it warms it up. It is cooling down. So that's good. Just having the door shut and having the uh, damper open all the way, that made a big difference in the heat output. Yeah, even the wall is, ooh, I don't know what I just touched there, a nail or something. That's hot. been about 10 minutes since I shut the garage doors. I ended up putting a fan on it to help blow some of that heat off of it. <clears throat> and uh, see where we're at on temperature in here. 62, so about five degrees in 10 minutes. That tells you how hot it is. This is a uh, 32 by 50 pole building. So it's, it's not exactly easy to heat. It's fairly large, but uh, 
yeah it's doing really good it's cooled down a bit more so anyway that's where we're at let's go ahead and look at the fire one last time should be going pretty good yep it's a good hot fire there so we'll let it go and uh, i think this is going to work out really good this winter if it can raise the temperature five degrees in 10 minutes, I've got no worries about heating this big barn. So a uh, few things that I had done to this uh, when I installed it, and you'll see that in the video you just watched. But uh, this here is a spring off of a garden hose, and I had saved it. And the, the little spring they give you to hang on this thing, you got to pull it off and then use that to open the door. That was a pain in the butt. So I just mounted that on there perfectly. It is cold to the touch. Um, I'm gonna open this up and let you see inside here. I do have it going. There you go. Burning good. Uh, the floor was a little bit wet this morning. We've had a lot of rain and, and this floor does tend to condensate. So that was uh, my way of drying it out. Uh, also, I put one of these fans on here. Just sat it up here and it runs nice and quiet. Heat powered fan. Um, see what else I can tell you about it. It does have a damper right here, but I've been told that that damper fails. So I'm just leaving that open and I'm not messing with it. And uh, I did put a damper up here instead, which I haven't used yet, you know, because it does have the intake also. And that intake is plenty good enough really for, for what this is. But uh, uh, adding all this cement board helped tremendously. Uh, the way I did that was I had these metal studs. I ended up screwing them down and I put spacers between the wall and that. And it is actually cold behind there. The temperature in here now is 69 degrees. And uh, it is very comfortable. Well, guys, in summary, this is probably the best thing I've done for this barn uh, as far as winter heat. Um, I'm blown away by how much heat it puts out and how well it does. And, um, you know, for the price you pay for the kit, and I got the barrels for free, uh, I think I had $100 wrapped up into this whole whole setup. Uh, even the fire brick I got for free. So uh, usually those are about $3 a piece. But, uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier with it. I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll talk to you on the next one.